Hi everyone, it's Ren here, hope you're doing well and uh, hopefully a younger version, version of myself is here with you today. Um, I want to take a, yeah, a little moment, a little time to broach the topic of the potential relationship between type and style of an interest in video games playing. So here what I'm thinking about is how the particular type of a person, say ISTJ or INFP, relates to the way in which that person um, approaches video games, um, whether they are likely to be interested in video games and whether they are likely to play a game, you know, in a certain way. Um, so I don't really have a lot of confidence about this, but I can speak about my experience. Um, so I used to be big into games when I was uh, younger. I think from the age of like 10 until the age of 20 or something like that. I was big into games, then I played them less. I'm assuming that extroverts are a little bit le less likely to play a lot of games because by definition, if you play video games, you're often on your own. Maybe these days that's not so much the case anymore because you can play online and a lot of people play online and I'm assuming that a lot of extroverts play online. Still, I would assume that on average more introverts play video games. Um, and I would assume that maybe extroverted dominant judges, so ESFJs, ENFJs, ESTJs and uh, ENTJs are perhaps those least likely to play video games throughout their lives just because they are so connected to the real world in a way with their function. Whereas a dominant extroverted perceiver probably would find food for the, their extroverted intuition or extroverted sensing in a game. Um, not sure that extroverted feeling and extroverted thinking find as much of a sense of fulfillment and completion uh, when, when they play games, when they play video games. It's only a hypothesis. None of this is uh, something that I have tested. Um, but uh, just putting it out there. In terms of my playing style, um, you know, it's, it's, for me it's always been like kind of a solo affair. I used to be very big into Final Fantasy, I think I mentioned that before. RPGs, Beth Bethesda, uh, you know, Bethesda games like Oblivion, Skyrim, like a lot of role-playing games, playing alone, and then some FP FPS stuff sometimes. I like just when I want to sort of unplug and just do something that just empties my mind of any like superfluous thoughts that are just clouding my judgment about other things. FPSs can be, can be good. And it's really RPGs and FPS games that I've been privileging. I have not privileged strategy games. I'm actually not that great at strategy games. Uh, I have not privileged like arcade games or platform games or, or I don't really like combat games, fight games. A little bit I don't mind. I like Smash Bros, but maybe that's a different kind of fight game. Um, but, um, and you know, there are lots of other simulation games and stuff like that. Not big into that. I don't like race games necessarily a lot either. I mean, I don't mind them, but... Really, the types of games that I gravitate the most towards are uh, RPGs, some uh, FPS, and then games that kind of mix elements of, you could argue, RPG and FPS, like, um, what's the name of that game? Uh, Bioshock, Bioshock, I like the Bioshock series. And a lot of other games as well. And you could argue that in some sense there is an FPS dimension to even to the Bethesda games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like a lot of that. So, 
And at the moment, I've sort of returned to video games playing because last year I was sort of going through that phase of uh, feeling some anxiety and, and being a bit of a workaholic with regards to certain things. And because of that, I try to learn to just enjoy leisure for its own sake, which I think is very good for psychic balance. And, uh, and so I decided to get myself a Nintendo Switch uh, and I bought Zelda on it. And more recently for Christmas, I got like the, the Dragon Ball uh, Z, Dragon Ball something. I think it's here. No, it's not here. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the, this is my Wittgenstein t-shirt. I know it's a very nerdy thing, potentially a megalomaniac thing, so for those who are philosophers, I'm caught. Uh, so yeah, it's Dragon Ball something. I mean, I, I actually, I think it's maybe Dragon Ball Fighter Z or something. I have not really played it yet. And that's because Zelda just takes up so much time, you know? Um, but yeah, like, I got that game and I got myself, my brother and I got my got ourselves uh, Smash Bros Ultimate. So we've been playing that, you know, we played it a bit of it yesterday and uh, I'm sure we'll play some more this afternoon. My brother is big into, into it, but because he doesn't own a Switch, I own one, you know, he, he cannot really play it outside of when I'm around. Since I'm going to be around for a while, uh, he's quite happy about that, I think. But yeah, so, you know, that's an exception and I, I would say that like the, the sort of fight games, battle games, as well as FPS, they're really more for pure entertainment. Sometimes I just need to not think. When I play RP RPGs, um, I go to them for different reasons. And one of the main reasons is that I like to just lose myself in them, to contemplate in them. I'm just going to lower the blinds. Here's the south of France, so like there's going to be many instances of me having to lower the blinds or just move them back up because it's a very sunny area, you know, part of the world. It's a Mediterranean climate, so it's a bit cloudy, but like you have occasional moments during which like the sun shines and... And so I'm once again displaying my ridiculous Wittgenstein t-shirt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, RPGs, favorite, favorite type of game. Now, am I good at RPGs? You know, I would say that as a, as a, as a video game player, not, not the most adept, admittedly, video game player, I rarely play more than like one hour when I play, and I don't play every day by any means. But um, even when I was playing more uh, obsessively, let's say, in the second decade of my life, I don't think I was ever the best video game player. You know, I think that it would be an exaggeration to say that I was, I was a very apt uh, and very competent video game player. I think that there are a lot of people who are just better than me at video games. And I used to think that about like reflex-based games, um, but in hindsight, I think that's also the case with RPGs, even though RPGs I love. Um, and obviously the case with strategy games as well. Um, honestly, whenever I've played against NTs, but also against a lot of NFs, I've not been very good at strategy games. Um, maybe some S types as well, but you see, like the majority of my friends are N, so I can only really compare with N types. Um, RPGs. I used to fancy that I was like the best player at like R F Final, F Final Fantasy VII. Obviously, there's no way of knowing because. It's it's a game that you cannot play online. Maybe you can play on play it online now, or you will you will be we will be in the future if if it comes out on PS4 or, or whatever console is supposed to come out on. But in hindsight, no, I I, I know because I I tried to play World of Warcraft and yeah, my mom my mom said lunch is ready, <laughs> so ah oh, I feel like I'm such a little boy now. You know, I finished my job and. I'm back here and my mom is cooking for not just for me, from my brother, but do not worry. I actually I prepared the table and all the other stuff I contributed, you know, and I will dishwash as well. So 
it's okay. Like it's a teamwork, you know. Just not gonna rely on my mommy the whole time. Plus she's working next week, so I'll be left to fend for myself. Anyway, RPGs. The issue that I have with RPGs is that, and to bring it back to INFJ and and stuff like that, that I think that because I'm a very 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 N N driven person, like dominant N, like to an extent that can only be really appreciated in person, I think. <laughs> um, well, the thing is, I think it's, it's really painful to play with me. So when I was playing World of Warcraft, I was, um, I was playing it with an INFP friend of mine, very good, and he became a very, very solid player on World of Warcraft when he was playing it. But we started together and like very quickly he was thinking, Ren, like either you change your style of play or this cannot go on. And I think this is nice because it summarizes why I'm enjoying playing Zelda so much and I've been playing it for nearly a year on the Switch now. And I'm taking my time, you know, I'm taking my time. But also why it was it was it was really hard for him, who's in the in the terms of the game, I don't know. I don't know if this relates also to dominance F I, you know, an introverted judging function. But he 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 was like, "What are you doing?" Like my character, he'd be just moving towards uh, an NPC that we had to talk to, or just moving forward with the quest, and I would be like, I would be just. Exploring the fields, just looking at mountains, hanging in, hanging out in the flowers, you know. Um, I said that to a friend of mine recently, and he said, "Oh, that's like an ENFP style of playing. <laughs> at least that's how you imagine it." But uh, like for me, that's just so natural. It's what I enjoy the most. I just I, I I discover. Let's say that I'm discovering like a new landscape that I've never seen in my life because it's created by the game. First thing I want to do is just go hang out. I don't want to like be in a rush to start completing quests and missing out on all these amazing impressions that could be derived from it and that's why like I'm so slow with Zelda as well you know and I think there's a connection between that and between the way in which I approach my videos in which sometimes I want to talk about a topic and I take about eight minutes to lay the groundwork before I go into the topic and then I sort of aim for the target there's a link, I think, an analogy between this in my videos and in how I am in, as a person and this, my style of playing video games. You know, it's a very exploratory thing at first, very exploratory and getting the feel. It's very similar to NI and the way in which NI lets ideas circular, sec circulate, and move around it until it sort of fixes on a pattern bet between different ideas. When I play a video game, I like to hang around, an RPG in particular, and get the feel of the place. It's hard with Zelda because it's a huge game, but it's the same idea. It's really the same idea. Uh, and in World of Warcraft, I was doing that for days, for hours. It's just, you know, just getting to enjoy a, a kind of union with the environment. And not, a lot, not, not wanting to be too obsessed with purposes to progress throughout the game. Because from the moment that you think about it in th these terms, your experience of the game becomes temporal. It becomes slave to time in a way. You're going to finish it and then you're going to move on. And when it's a beautiful game that you're experiencing, at least for me, I don't want it to become too quickly subject to temporality. Because with temporality comes, you know, death basically the death of a life you know the temporality of, a, of the life of a human being but the end of a game the temporality of a video game playing and so um and so i would just really take my time but not like get necessarily sidetracked by like absolutely everything around me just enjoy taking the feel getting to you know enjoy just being in an environment mountainous environment desert beach you know in zelda you've got lots of that breath of the wild and so i'm you know i i have solved three of the big weapons thing now i've still got the the one like flying in the sky to solve so i've progressed but god am i taking my time and that's my style you know it's my style and i think it's an intuitive style but it's 
It's a very contemplative intuitive style, if you like. It's not easy for other people to play with me, which is why I often play solo, because I know that my style is not going to be for everyone. And I think there's a link between that and and I. But hey, how do you play video games? Uh, what style do you have? And how do you think it relates to your own type, whether it be INFJ or another type? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, there's an interview with my brother that's coming soon. So uh, brace yourself for that. See you soon, guys.